Okay, we're on to the CIP tutorial number six. We went ahead and created a program. We stepped through it. Now we're going to add some more features to this program. So go ahead and save this. Go offline. I'm going to come into my user defined tags and create a timer so we can make this thing automatic. I mean, if you're going to go through the steps, you may as well have a time base on there where you can step through there and then it automatically steps through without me toggling the bits. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a timer on there. Call it our sequence timer. So it'll be our sequence step timer. And I'm going to hit apply. Well, I'm actually going to move this up a little bit. Yeah, I want it up there. You can see it takes the same amount of bytes. We're good. So in order to make this happen, I want the tank one step to be initiated at a certain time interval. So I'm going to add a rung here. I'm going to put my timer instruction. Then I'm going to search for my tank one dot step timer. And we'll just put a one second in there for now. And then we'll use this uh, timer done bit to reset itself. So every time a second elapses, um, the timer done bit will turn on, which will reset the timer. Pretty simple. I'm going to drag a branch over here. I'm going to use the timer done bit again to trigger the step. Notice I hit the control. I hit the control and drag that over there. And then if I just click on the instruction, I can highlight that and then type the instruction I want. As I go through this, I want to show you different ways to do things. So I'm going to do it again. Go down, hit enter, and then I can just type in OTE. Makes it a lot quicker than going up to your tags and dragging and dropping. I rarely drag and drop. I'm just doing it for this tutorial. So there it is. There's my program. I've got a timer on there. Um, set it one second. It's going to be automatic. It's going to step through this. So we'll go ahead and save this program again and download it. Lots of error or lots of warnings. Some lawyer talk going on there. And we'll go back into run mode. You can see we're back in run and we're stepping through automatically every second. We're just going through another step. We can change this to a second and a half. And we're stepping through turning valves on and off and pumps on and off. As you can see uh, with our animation here, everything's turning on and off. Pumps are going on and off according to our sequence. Pretty nifty, right? I mean, it's pretty quick. You can see it's only a few rungs long, what, six, seven rungs. And uh, we have ourselves a working wash program. And you look at the output word, you can see when the data is getting loaded in there from the output array. We have 20 steps here, and this is zero base, so zero through 19. What I'm doing is bringing up a watch window. So rather than going into the monitor tags, you can actually bring a watch window up here in with your ladder rung and view that as well. View the data or your tags. And what's really nice about this is how, how the tags update in real time. So you can see that. And look at the size of this program. Very, very small. And it's, uh, it's actually very powerful. And that's that part of this tutorial. On the next one, we're going to add some more features.